the first time in our life, we are nearing the border of Montana. We are about 40 clicks away. Hey, Jenny. Yeah. What do you think? It's very odd. What do you think, Gooey? Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The land and the landscape is extremely flat and barren, and yet there are some hills. And then there's a great big mountain right over there, which is in Montana. What do you think, Brooke? Cool. It is cool. Yeah, it's fun. We've always wanted to travel down here. Do you like it, Bree? I think so. Hi, Lene and Sarah. Hi. Looks like you're in trouble. Hi, Simon and Charles. Hi. How do you feel being this close to Montana? Uh, good. <laughs> good. Nervous. Do you feel any better than you did before? I don't know. I'm a little excited, I guess. Yeah. Excited to see the motor coach. Hi, Papa and Mama. You're doing just wonderful. Pilot for pilot. I'm sitting on a big pile of 10 bags of rye. The guards looked in here and they would know what to say. <laughs> Whoa. And I have my little maid rubbing my cold feet. That is a huge building. Here we are at the border. We are illegally videoing. Or not. We are trying to figure out where to go here. <laughs> we are walking on Montana soil, going to get our coach. We managed to get through the border crossing and the US patrol guards, whatever you call them, they were actually quite nice especially in comparison to the Canadian Guard, who was very cold. Colder than the temperature outside at the moment. There is the coach! Ladies first! Yeah. I like the colors. Look at this big place. Oh, this slide. This is so cool. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yes, Heavenly Father, please guide our path safely home. Back to Oldale to get across the border as well. Uh, where should we go? Uh, I just hold to the right. Now. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they look Thank lovely you. on so you. Thank you. You made them yourself? Amberlyn and I did. So oh, I spun it and Amberlyn, she crocheted. crocheted it. Oh, that's just beautiful. Isn't it? Every wow. day I do some. Oh you know, my. It wow. looks like a patchwork quilt. Good evening, everyone. Wonderful to see you all here, and it's wonderful to see you.
hanging on a door for a bed to sleep. Jesus Christ can do awesome things in a man's life Amen. when he surrenders and repents of his sins. And that happened one morning at Kenworth where I worked on a bathroom floor that was very dirty and mirrored my life. And the Holy Spirit got a hold of my heart. And I wept and I heaved and cried out to him. And he picked me up off the floor. And for the first time in my life, he told me he loved me. And I felt true love. You know, as men, we have a hard time to even say the words, I love you, to our sons and daughters. But because he was so generous that day, I am able to do that to mine. And as you can see up here, these nine beautiful children are just the love of my life next to Jesus Christ and my wife, of course. I just encourage everybody here, old and young, to just shout the cry and repent of your sins. Repentance isn't a word that's commonly used today, but it is repentance. It has to be repentance. And he has his hand like this out for each one of us. And I grabbed onto it and I haven't let go. I've fallen. But you know, I've got support all around me. My children and my wife pray for me continuously. We have to stick together and pray. And that's what I'm going to challenge you people tonight, as I do on our tours, that we will go out and we will spread the good news. And we will make the miles. And we will put our energies to that ministry that you've seen tonight. And all I ask is that we pray for us and pray for each other. The foundation of the country is crumbling because the family is crumbling. The family is the foundation of the country. Amen? Amen. 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 We like to take uh, control back in our lives like I did. And four years after Lynette and I were married, after we had three of them, the first set of twins, then I decided that I would get a vasectomy. <laughs> Who knows what a vasectomy is? Nobody. And then one day the Holy Spirit got a hold of my heart and said, I thought you gave your life to me. Why would you cut off all the blessings I have for you? And I'm going to bring out the seven beautiful blessings. And one man's decision can change generations. Isn't that beautiful? has a magnificent Dutch spread for us, all of her Dutch dainties. She is a duchess. Whoa, this is awesome after our fun. She is. Oh, yes. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you very, very much. Thanks so much. Yes. And thank you for praying for us. Yes. Oh, I do yes. Yes. Everything God has <laughs> We ran into a couple dilemmas. It was freezing, snow and sleet outside. I know it's kind of stressful right now, so videoing isn't the best idea, so bear with me. 
and we come in here and we find that the roof is leaking because while we were driving to Coldale in Lethbridge, the awning got ripped off the roof and made damage. So yeah, we are staying here for the night because the roads are not very good to travel on and we're seeing what we can put on the roof to help with the leakage and we're all going to just bed down in our performance outfits not quite outfits I guess but travel thankfully we packed half of our bedding yeah and <laughs> pillows and everything so we won't get cold we are gonna just kind of try to stay stress free to the mood. big breaths at least we have a nice warm awesome. spot and it's not too bad. No matter how bad things can get, they can always get worse. Right? Oh, I want to go to bed. It is about 11.30 and we have our beds all over the place. We are trying to figure out what to do. That's mine. That's mine. Good morning, all you big old children. Good morning. Good morning, Amber. Did you did you guys sleep at all last night, Julia? Uh, yeah, a little bit. How about you, Lenny? Kind of, but it made, left me feeling and looking kind of funny. Did you sleep, Jen? You slept on the couch there. And Charles, you slept on that big chair. Did you sleep okay? It was alright. It was alright. I slept quite a while. Sarah, where did you sleep? I yeah, slept I slept good, good till six. We are eating cheese with a turkey sandwich salad mix and delicious oatmeal banana peanut butter porridge. <laughs> so this morning was quite eventful. We were all sprawled out on the ground. We had only a few blankets, so we were getting all cold. Julia, myself, and Brooklyn were all curled up on this bed here that was rolled out. We managed to kind of get warm. And then we found out that the batteries had went dead and the motorhome wouldn't start and we were kind of stuck, right? Yeah. Well, because the motorhome wouldn't start. Oh, yeah. So we were cold and there was no heater and so we called AMA and they oh, came and gave off. us a boost. And then the slides wouldn't come in, but that was because we had the motorhome on. See you later, everyone. Bye. 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 Simon is sleeping in the entryway to the master bedroom, and we are just kind of lounging around, massaging each other, and sleeping, and eating, and chatting, and phoning grandma and mom. Everything's kind of going more smoothly now. Thankfully. Yes. Here we are. Home, oh, turn off. 3.30 in the morning. Ooh la la. Mama. Wow. It is just pure ice underneath the snow and it is about 10 to 4 in the morning. 